Welcome back here to Alumni Arena. Big win for the Buffalo Bulls tonight. They break the century mark for the first time since 2006 in Mac play. 101 to 91 over Central Michigan. I'm standing here with the winning head coach, Nate Oates. Coach, congratulations. Boy, you knew you were in for a fight tonight, a back and forth track meet. Your guys wound up on the right end of things. Some really good shooting tonight. Yeah, you know what? Blake Blake played well. I thought, you know, I thought Carruthers and uh, Massenburg did an unbelievable job on defense in the second half. You know, I just those two guards are really good. In the second half, we did a lot better job with them. Our our bigs were uh, you know good helping with the ball screens and everything they ran. So you know we, we needed to win bad. You know they're 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 a really good team. Obviously high powered offense and you know gave up 50 in the first half. We're not trying to do that. Even the second half, you know we still gave up 41, which is too many. But you know they're they're, they're high powered. So we just our offense was good enough to win the game tonight. Hopefully our defense. Uh, gets a little better here. I know with 91 on the board against you, it doesn't seem like it, but like you said, they did a good job. Your guys did on it. those two guards tonight. They really held uh, uh, Marcus in check, Marcus Keen in check in the second half. What was the difference on him in the second half? You know, I just think uh, we did a little bit better job getting into the ball. I think the two early fouls on CJ and Carruthers both kind of made them play a little passive. You know, and we had to play some other guys on them. And, you know, w Willie, you know, they, they were all worried about fouls, I think, in the uh, first half. And I think we were able to get into it a little bit more kind of ride them over the screens. Our bigs gave us good help. You know, our bigs made them finish over them inside. I mean, this, you know, this team's maybe the best offensive team, you know, in the league numbers wise. They only shot 40% tonight. And they, they hit nine out of 26 from three, which, you know, for them, that's, you know, that's pretty good to hold them to nine. They're, they're averaging about over 13 made threes. So we'll, we'll take it like that. You know, and like you said, I think Keen, I'm not sure what he ended up in the second half, but not, not nearly what he uh, had in the first half. So we did a lot better job in the second half with them. What does this do for your team going into February, a win after a couple of losses on the road? Hey, you know what, we just we needed some confidence. We've been right there. I mean, you, you know, last week, the two one-point losses on calls in the last couple seconds were just tough. You know, we, we were right there and could have won both of them and dropped them both. And, you know, we're, those two games are, were two games out of second place. And, you know, you just had to stay with them, stay with them, stay positive. And, you know, now we come in and get this win. Hopefully we can go back, redeem ourselves against Ball State. We didn't play very well at all against them when they came here. All right, Coach, congratulations. I'll let you get in with your team. Congratulations tonight. All right, thanks, Sal. All right, Appreciate it. All right, that is the head coach of the UB Bulls, Nate Oates. We're going to bring in our player of the game right now, Blake Hamilton, 27 points, 11 rebounds. You don't see it on your screen. You also had eight assists. You were two assists shy of a triple-double here tonight. You know about that, don't you? Yeah, I keep getting close. All right, well, listen, you, you came you came on the right end of the uh, team's scoreboard tonight, obviously, 101-91. to 91. You break the century mark. How was it that you guys were able to get 100 points on the board tonight offensively? Uh, I mean, offensively, we've been playing good the last two games against Akron, we had 90, you know, but 91 points. We gave him 91 points again. That's a lot of points to give up, so we got to do better defensively, but we're clicking offensively, and that's a good thing. What does this do for your team going into February now? You know that's a big month for conference play. After two big losses on the road, one point, you came up short in both of them. You come back home, you get this win. What does this do for you guys? I mean, you know, it was a must win. I mean, you know, we go Ball State on Friday, so, you know, we, we got to uh, rattle some wins off, and, um, you know, it's a good way to start off at home. All right, congratulations. Go inside and celebrate. Thank you, guys. All right, that is Blake Hamilton, our player of the game. Two assists shy of a triple-double here tonight. Amy Audiber joining me here courtside once again. And, Amy, a big win for the Buffalo Bulls tonight. They did a great job on those two guards, especially in the second half. Yeah, but we got to talk about offense, Sal. We can't talk about defense yes. right now. 192 points scored tonight for Buffalo. Ten players saw the floor. Ten players scored. So they all bought into the game plan. They all got after it. 16 offensive rebounds. Eight different guys got offensive rebounds. They turned into 21 points. So they just put, took that ball and they put it through the rim tonight. Yeah, they were shooting really well from outside. And I think one thing that really showed that UB can do tonight, they can score from different parts of the floor. We talked about those guys for uh, Central Michigan being able to do that. But UB, they scored from in close. They scored from mid-range. They scored from behind the arc. They can score in a lot of ways. Yeah, and what that does is that they're not going to hit the road now. They're going to be confident. They have the ability to score again because you go back to that road trip where they lost two close games. This is the way they needed to respond. So if you're Nate Oates or if you're a member on the team, you have to be confident moving forward, knowing that, hey, February is the time now. This is where you start making that peak and you get ready to hopefully dance again. And they go back on the road again. Ball stayed up next with a big win for the Buffalo Bulls here tonight. 101 to 91. They break the century mark and Mac Blake for the first time since 2006. A big victory here to close out January for the Buffalo Bulls. For Amy Audibert, for our entire ESPN3 crew, I'm Sal Capaccio saying thanks for joining us here tonight and good night from Amherst, New York.